The Hawaii United Okinawa Association's Virtual Okinawan Festival is made possible thanks to donations from viewers like you. Mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. Aloha and hi sai from Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Paul Yonamine and I'm the Executive Chairman of Central Pacific Bank. I'm incredibly proud of my Okinawan roots in Nakaguska Village and I'm pleased to see the Okinawan culture thriving here in Hawaii. CPB Foundation is proud to support community events such as the Okinawan Festival that showcase the beauty of Hawaii's multi-ethnic communities. As you can see behind me, CPB has a long legacy of service to the people of Hawaii, and we are proud to serve the needs of all residents in our state. CPB has supported the Okinawan Festival with pride and gratitude for decades, from its early beginnings at McCoy Pavilion to Kapiolani Park and the Hawaii Convention Center, CPB has grown with the Okinawan Festival in service and scope. Besides the Okinawan Festival, CPB Foundation and the Hawaii United Okinawa Association have partnered on several events, such as the Family Noodle Pack distribution we did in partnership with Sun Noodle to help families during the COVID-19 pandemic. Before COVID-19, I was pleased to have been able to invite HUOA leaders to a presentation I did for top executives in Okinawa Prefecture. I was also fortunate to attend the HUOA's installation banquet in January 2020, one of the last large events held at the Hawaii Okinawa Center before COVID shut everything down. In 2020, I was excited to see the Okinawan Festival pivot to a virtual format so that our stories can be shared with a worldwide audience. And this year, HEOA has continued that approach to develop its online capabilities. As a bank that is putting particular emphasis on digital products and services, we appreciate the innovation. In closing, the CPB Foundation is proud to support the HEOA 
to ensure that it remains a leader in keeping our community connected. Although we can't be together for the second year in a row, I hope you are all staying safe while we continue to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Mahalo and Ipe Nife Debiru. Okinawan Festival is Hawaii United Okinawa Association's premier event held annually on Labor Day weekend. Organized and run by HOA, members of its 50 clubs, and over 2,000 volunteers, the celebration focuses on sharing Uchinanchu Aloha. But how did this event grow for over 50,000 Hawaii residents and visitors to enjoy each year? Let's take a look back at how it all started. Inspired by a group of sansei who traveled to Okinawa on a young leadership tour in 1980, and a growing event started by Hui Olaulima called the Okinawan Cultural Jubilee, the United Okinawa Association wanted to share the Okinawan culture with the greater Hawaii community while involving its many member clubs. The first Okinawan festival was held in 1982 at McCoy Pavilion in Alamoana Park. the festival had outgrown Makoi Pavilion and moved to a bigger venue, Thomas Square and the Honolulu Academy of Arts. Oh, 
good show and it was a good encouragement for the guys that came down for, to, from Okinawa. And I think people will be very, very, um, are very, very invigorated by watching them. I was. In 1990, the Okinawan Festival moved to Kapiolani Park, where the festival would grow to become one of the largest ethnic festivals in the state of Hawaii. With such a large production, festival planning would begin eight months in advance. A volunteer base of over 2,000 would assist in various capacities in areas related to construction, logistics, food preparation, cooking, sales, and video production. The Okinawan Festival offers great food, games, cultural booths, and showcases our performing arts community. We have also been lucky over the years to have a wide variety of special guests from Okinawa and around the world. Aloha. Hi, Sai. Thank you. I wish you could have heard how your public officials were talking about the members of this association, about what patriotic citizens you are, about how hardworking you are, about how much you love your children. I've shaken hands with more children here in the last 30 minutes than I have the last three days in all of Hawaii, and I loved it very much. <laughs> After years of celebrating the festival at Kapiolani Park, weather impacts and a change in manpower to build the festival infrastructure led the organization to move the festival to a new location. In 2018, HOA moved the Okinawan Festival to the Hawaii Convention Center, allowing our members to showcase new activities and exhibits while providing a comfortable environment for all of our attendees, from babies to senior citizens. Twenty twenty introduced new challenges with the global pandemic bringing the world to a halt. Determined to continue our focus of sharing our culture, we use technology to reach out well beyond our shores with our very first virtual Okinawan festival. By gathering videos from HOA club members, our many Okinawan cultural groups, and utilizing some footage from past exciting performances, the Virtual Okinawan Festival proved to be a wonderful success, a three-day virtual event with an estimated global reach of approximately 60,000. Mahalo for your support of HOA's Okinawan Festival throughout the years. Whether in person or virtual, let's continue to find ways to share Uchinanchu Aloha. Oh, 
Ha. Please kokua and help us reach new viewers by subscribing to our HUOA YouTube page. Look for the red subscribe button on the bottom right. It's free. Your subscription supports our mission to share Uchinanchu Aloha around the world. Also, don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up. Mahalo and yuta surugutu urige sabida. Hi everyone! A big aloha and haitai from Hawaii. Uh, we are so excited to be starting our 2021 virtual Okinawan festival. So this is just super exciting. I'm so glad to see we have hundreds of people joining us online right now. Um, what a year it's been. We This is the second year that we are coming to you virtually. So we're just We've learned a lot, you know, we've got a lot of new things for you, but super excited to be here. My name is Lynn Miyahira, and I was the president back in 2020. So I'm a past president of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. Uh, I'm also a member of Gaza, Nishihara, and Shinka clubs, which are part, which make up some of the clubs that we have here at the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. And I'm going to, you know, pass it over to my lovely co-host, Shizu Higa. Shizu, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, so I think I might be a new face to most of you. I am interning at the Hawaii Okinawa Center this summer. I actually come from California, and I've been to Hawaii when I was really little, um, but this is kind of my first real experience being here for an extended period of time. So I'm really excited to be here. This is my first Okinawa festival ever, and I'm bummed that it can't be in person, but we still have a wonderful program. 
世界中からハワイ沖縄フェスティバルを見てくれている皆さん東津と申しますよろしくお願いしますで今日は素晴らしいプログラムが用意してあるのでぜひゆっくり楽しんでくださいそうですね、oh, very good so we're excited to bring you、um, I'm just gonna give a little shout out to Shizu thank you so much she's been here、uh, summer intern、uh, with us here at the Hawaii Okinawa Center、um, but I was laughing because she has never been around so many other Higas. <laughs> you know, she's coming to us from California, right? And I think out of the six people that work in the, at the HOC or, you know, are working in volunteering, there's like three Higas, ne?、Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so welcome. You are, you are home here with us.、Um, but we're so excited and,、uh, to bring you another year. Although, you know, we're, we're, we are kind of bummed that we couldn't do it in person this year.、Um, We're happy to bring another virtual Okinawan festival to you to help us promote, preserve, and perpetuate the Okinawan culture here in Hawaii. And so that we can continue our mission of making sure that you know, we share our stories. And actually, what we found is that there's a silver lining in doing、um, virtual events in that we are reaching a wider audience. But we still you know, want to make sure that we, we share our stories of our kupuna and our keiki and that we are making sure that our stories are actually recorded now for future generations as well. So, we just want to give a big mahalo to our sponsors for making this possible. We have Central Pacific Bank Foundation, Zippies, Rainbow Drive In, Sun Noodle, Island Insurance. And we also have Data House, Time Supermarket, Don Quixote, Marukai Wholesale Mart, Noguchi and Associates, Inc., and JTV Hawaii. Yeah, so we, we really want to say thank you to all of our major sponsors this way. And you know, there's actually a lot of different people, a lot of different businesses、um, through our Okinawan Festival that are supporting us.、Um, but individuals as you, as, as well as you, you know, so、um, we do ask for your donations. It's really easy to donate. We've made it really easy. So you go to okinawanfestival.com and you look for a red donate button on top. It's actually pretty easy to find. And you can do, use your credit card there. Or for those of you who'd rather pay, you know, by check,、uh, we would happily. Accept your check、uh, mailed to the Hawaii Okinawa Center, and you can find that address at our、um, huoa.org website. So,、uh, quick shout out for all of our people who want to donate online.、Um, putting on this festival is you know, a lot of work. I think we'll, we have、um, later on, we'll show you some back,、um, you know, behind the scenes photos, I think, on our Facebook page after festivals. Done. So, mahalo ya to Shizu. And,、uh, and another way you could support is subscribing. Yeah,、um, so we would really appreciate if you can hit the big red subscribe button that you'll see on our YouTube page. And we also want to see where all of you guys are tuning in from, so make sure、yes. to comment.、Um, I see Linda says hi, Thai, Lynn, and Shizu. We have Del from Orange Park, Florida. I know we have viewers from all around the world today, so let us know where you're from and comment any other thing that you want to say. All right. But yeah, no, I'm excited to see all these different Kohala. We got everyone from Kohala to Orange Park, Florida. Look, we have other people you know, from all over the world Argentina,、um, of course, Okinawa. Oh, I'm so, to, so excited to see all of this. So thank you guys so much for joining us this、um, afternoon. And also, don't forget, we have an Okinawan Festival. Photo contest. So, for every year, we ask our festival participants to send us photos of their favorite moments from the festival. And, you know, last year we weren't quite sure how this was going to work out because we don't have a, you know, an actual in person event, but we were just floored by the wonderful photos that everyone sent in of their family celebrating at home, the way, you know, with grandma and the kids.、Um, so, we have two.、Um, Two, two categories, I would say. So you can submit your chance to win one out of four、uh, prizes that we have. And the two themes that we have are. Yeah, so the first one is Ohana, o u r family. So it's the people that make us who we are. So through this team, we want to ca capture that spirit of Ohana in this year's festival. And the second theme is food. So take a photo of what you're eating or cooking during our virtual Okinawa festival and make sure to add the restaurant name or the name and description of the food, I mean, of the dish.、Um, and feel free to replate your takeout if you want to make it look nice.、Um, your photos have to be submitted no later. Than Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. So look in our description below for the link to where to submit those photos.、Um, you can also go on the okinawafestival.com website and that'll give all the details and everything I just listed. Right. I think、um, a lot of people are going to have some really cool food photos, right? If they, I like how you said it. Don't 
yes, you can replate your food. <laughs> you don't have to show it in the takeout container because we know it, it is different. So um, we're excited for that. So we're excited, you know, make sure throughout this whole, while you're watching us, take photos of your family, take photos of your food. If there's any, um, you know, really in like, Let's be honest, the kids and grandmas, right? Kids and grandmas are always like the greatest. And so definitely send us photos of your family um, watching the festival and eating with you. All right. So um, we are going to go into our first segment. Uh, we want to give a big mahalo. To, we have a bunch of uh, dignitaries that sent us speeches for us. So we have a welcome speech from HUA President Patrick Miyashiro. We also have David Ige, Governor of the State of Hawaii, as well as Denny Tamaki, who is Governor of, the, of Okinawa Prefecture. Along, we also have the Consul General of Japan, Yutaka Aoki, Consul General, and representing Central Pacific Bank Foundation, we have Executive Chairman Paul Yonamine. Hi, Sai Gusio, especially to all you Uchina Chus and Uchina Chu in spirit. Bensore and welcome to our second virtual Okinawan festival. My name is Pat Miyashiro, your HOA 2021 president. I must say it's been a challenge to figure out how we are planning to organize this year's festival after completing last year's successful event. Well, we won't disappoint you. We've had a year's worth of experience in doing most of our events on Zoom. Doing Yuntaku Live on the second and fourth Tuesday nights have kept us on track to keep up the traditions of our Okinawan culture. The HOA's mission is to promote, to preserve, and perpetuate our Okinawan culture through our performing arts group and provide a meaningful education through this venue. Putting on a festival is a daunting task and we would like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our sponsors who have generously donated their time and effort to our Okinawan Association. Thank you so much. We have been purchasing new equipment to enhance our broadcast for all of you. A great big mahalo to all the volunteers who have generously donated their time and effort to make this event a most memorable experience for all Uchinanchus and Uchinanchus at heart to enjoy. Thank you to all the Performing Arts Group for showcasing the Okinawan culture. It is just this spirit of Chimukukuru Tichi that continues to provide the energy for this experience. Thank you to all the club volunteers who have always answered the call when asked to help. Also, thank you for your continued support in purchasing our bentos and your donations to support our festival. You have supported our local Okinawan restaurants during this time, and they truly appreciate your patronage throughout the year. Please enjoy today's program right now and running until 5 p.m. And don't forget that our virtual bond dance will be on the same venue tonight from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. I hope you all brought your bentos to enjoy while watching the program. Another interesting feature, the Okinawan Festival Special, will be shown on KHON2 Channel 2 tonight at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Then on Sunday again, Virtual Okinawan Festival on YouTube and Facebook from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then a rebroadcast on KHON2 Channel 2 Okinawan Festival program from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thank you to all of you who are tuning in from around the world. Please let us know where you're viewing from. Again, Ipe Nihe Debru, Mahalo and Aloha. Thank you. Hi Sai and Aloha. COVID-19 has changed the way we get together, but it's not going to stop us from celebrating our rich culture and heritage. I want to thank the organizers of the 2021 Okinawan Festival for creatively adapting to produce this weekend's virtual cultural festival. You have a front row seat from anywhere in the world to all the singing, dancing, music, and interviews that the Okinawan Festival has to offer. This year's Okinawan Festival theme is Sharing Uchinanchu Aloha. As we continue to fight a global pandemic, we can draw strength from our ancestors whose mindset was to never give up, even when things seem difficult. As a community, we know that when we work together in the spirit of aloha, 
anything is possible. It's a very timely message as we continue as a community to unite and support one another through these challenging times. I look forward to gathering with all of you for the 2022 Okinawan Festival. Until then, I send you and your family my best wishes for an enjoyable and memorable time at this year's virtual Okinawan Festival. Please stay safe and healthy. Mahalo and aloha. Ipe nife deberu. Haisai gusuyo chuu ganabira aloha. Minasan konnichiwa. 沖縄県知事の玉木デニーです。ワイキキの夏を締めくくる風物詩として定着している沖縄フェスティバルが今年もバーチャルで開催されるにあたり、沖縄県を代表してご挨拶を申し上げます。昨年初めてオンライン開催となったフェスティバルには、ハワイ州のみならず、世界各地から6万人を超えるウチナーアンチュや、沖縄アットハートの皆様がご視聴されたとお聞きしています。実際に私もハワイにお伺いして、皆様と一緒にお祝いすることが今年も叶わず大変残念でありますが、創意工夫の上、今年もバーチャルという形で開催されることに喜びを感じております。このフェスティバルの開催にご尽力されたハワイ沖縄連合会をはじめとする関係者の皆様、多くのボランティアの皆様に心から敬意を表します。さて、沖縄とハワイとのつながりは、121年前、26名のうちのアンチュがハワイに移住したことに始まります。移住先での過酷な労働や異なる文化、習慣、言語、様々な困難を乗り越え、長い年月をかけて、今日の繁栄を築いてこられたことと存じます。その一方で、太平洋戦争が終結した後は、荒廃したふるさと沖縄の復興のため、ハワイの県警人の皆様は、衣類、食料、種豚など、様々な物資を沖縄へ届けてくださいました。また、一昨年の首里城火災の際には、ハワイ沖縄連合会をはじめ、ハワイの皆様からたくさんのご寄付や励ましのメッセージを頂戴いたしました。海を隔てても、皆様がいつも、温かい援助の手を沖縄に差し伸べてくれてきたことを私たち沖縄県民は決して忘れることはありません。改めて沖縄県民を代表して心より感謝を申し上げます。来年沖縄県は本土復帰50周年の大きな節目を迎えます。この節目の年に世界の内南地が一堂に会するイベント、世界の内南地大会が開催される予定です。第7回となるこの大会では、沖縄までお越しいただけない方々ともオンラインでつながることができるよう、各種イベントのライブ配信などを行う予定となっております。多くのハワイの皆様にもご参加いただけることを、うちなあんちゅ一同心から待ち望んでいます。結びにコロナ禍を心を一つにして乗り越え、これまで培ってきたハワイと沖縄を結ぶ絆が、これからも一層深まることを記念申し上げまして、私の挨拶とさせていただきます。ぐすうよう、一平二平デイプタン。ありがとうございました。マハロー。I heard so much about the excitement of past Okinawa festivals and was really hoping that by September we would all be able to enjoy this year's festival in person with a happy land park for the convention center. But I'm still so happy to be here with all of you at this year's virtual festival. I would like to first of all send a warm mahalo to Hawaii United Okinawan Association President. Mr. Patrick Miyashiro, and the many HUOA members and volunteers for organizing this program, and for providing us this yet another unique opportunity to celebrate and experience the rich culture 
values and traditions of Okinawa. Our fitting is HUOS and a festival theme of sharing Uchinan to our especially with the ongoing pandemic. Over the last year and a half, this very one thing we have come to fully appreciate is that our resilience and strength lies in numbers in our shared connection. Events like the Okinawa Festival remind us of these types of our friendships and how we are all interwoven in the vibrant multicultural public, which is our communities. Having said this, I'm looking forward to my very first Okinawa Festival experience. To two days of performances by Okinawa cultural performance groups from Hawaii and Okinawa. Among other featured highlights, they store for all of us, like the bone dance on Saturday night, all meant to bring us together in the state as a community. So let the festivities begin. Mahalo and Arigato gozaimashita. Aloha and hi sai from Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Paul Yonamine and I'm the Executive Chairman of Central Pacific Bank. I'm incredibly proud of my Okinawan roots in Nakagusuku Village and I'm pleased to see the Okinawan culture thriving here in Hawaii. CPB Foundation is proud to support community events such as the Okinawan Festival that showcase the beauty of Hawaii's multi-ethnic communities. As you can see behind me, CPB has a long legacy of service to the people of Hawaii, and we are proud to serve the needs of all residents in our state. CPB has supported the Okinawan Festival with pride and gratitude for decades, from its early beginnings at McCoy Pavilion to Kapiolani Park and the Hawaii Convention Center. CPB has grown with the Okinawan Festival in service and scope. Besides the Okinawan Festival, CPB Foundation and the Hawaii United Okinawa Association have partnered on several events, such as the Family Noodle Pack distribution we did in partnership with Sun Noodle to help families during the COVID-19 pandemic. Before COVID-19, I was pleased to have been able to invite HUOA leaders to a presentation I did for top executives in Okinawa Prefecture. I was also fortunate to attend the HUOA's installation banquet in January 2020, one of the last large events held at the Hawaii Okinawa Center before COVID shut everything down. In 2020, I was excited to see the Okinawan Festival pivot to a virtual format so that our stories can be shared with a worldwide audience. And this year, HEOA has continued that approach to develop its online capabilities. As a bank that is putting particular emphasis on digital products and services, we appreciate the innovation. In closing, the CPB Foundation is proud to support the HEOA to ensure that it remains a leader in keeping our community connected. Although we can't be together for the second year in a row, I hope you are all staying safe while we continue to fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Mahalo and ipe nife debiru. And mahalo to all of our sponsors for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. All right. I can't help but kind of thank you so much to everyone for watching us. And, and I want to give a big mahalo to our major sponsor, CPB Foundation. They really have been supporting the HUOA and the Okinawan Festival for decades. So mahalo to Paul Yonamine and, and his team at CPB.
Mm -hmm. well. And also a big thank you to our Governor Ige and Governor Tamaki and Consul General Aoki for your special message. Um, Tamaki san niwa shatsu ga oniai da tiyo komento ga nanko ka nokotte mashitande. Yeah. Yeah, um, we had a lot of comments about um I think that was actually my cousin Bruce. Oh yeah. Hey, Governor <laughs> Tamaki's shirt is silent. Yeah. All right, mm. you know. Uh, and those for those of you who don't know those are Karyushi wear shirts and I a kind of um, you know, it was inspired actually by Aloha shirts and then they took but a very Okinawan print. Mm. Um, just thank you to everyone who's been, um, you know, tuning in from all over the place. A lot of people are t um, chiming in about where they're showing, you know, where they're watching from. And I just want to give another, I have another cousin. Hey, my cousin Garrett is out here from Sunnydale, <laughs> California. All right. He's watching. So we got people from, let's see, I'm all over, right? Oh, from the mm -hmm. from right here in Honolulu, Baltimore, Maryland. Where else? We said okay, Richmond, no. Las Vegas. All right, Okinawa. yeah, lots from Okinawa. Yeah, Waikele, mm -hmm. everywhere. Mililani, I think I saw. Yeah, this is wow. Yeah, I think Copley? there was someone from the Philippines. Really. Yeah, there was someone from the mm -hmm. Philippines. Woo! Mm -hmm. So I'm very very excited about all of this. <laughs> uh, here's the. Fort Hood, Texas. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Jackson. I want to see if we can get all 50 states. That would all 50 be cool. states. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure we can do it all. I, I think we're like halfway there already. So this is exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thanks. Thank you, everyone. We're, we're, we got so much more for you. But one thing, right, that's really special mm -hmm. um, about the Okinawan Festival is our virtual and worldwide reach. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think my grandpa in Ginoan might be watching right now. Oh, that's uh, awesome. So, hi. That is uh, awesome. And yeah, hope we have a global audience. We had the Philippines, we have Okinawa, we have California, India. Um, and I know there's a big Okinawan population in South America. Uh, mm -hmm. So we actually have a very special guest from Argentina today. Oh, wow. So we have this year, we'd like, you know, as, as something that can only be done in a virtual festival, festival, right? And so we're going to add a little bit of a new segment. We're going to bring people in from around the world. And so our first mm -hmm. international live guest, we are lucky to, ha lucky to have, we have Rafael Canaguscu from Buenos Aires, Argentina. So let's bring Rafael on and see where he is. Hey, hi, Rafael. Hi, Sai. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm so excited. Sorry, this is <laughs> this is working. I, I'm so excited. So, um, Rafael, tell us a little bit about where you, uh, what you do, your, your name and your and what you do at the um, Argentina Okinawan Center. Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Rafael Canagusuku. I'm the president of the Okinawa Kenjinkai Argentina since uh, 2018. I think three years from now. Uh, it was a uh, the last couple of years were a little rough, but uh, we tried to do our best to, to keep in touch with the community of Okinawan Argentinian people and try to, to promote the culture here in, in, in Argentina. Wow. Uh, yeah. Um, Rafael, do you have the ability to show us around the Argentina Okinawa yes. Center? Sure, sure. Okay. I, I will be walking. Um, this is the uh -huh. main floor. Uh, we have a, Ooh, a stage. That's big, yeah. Uh, yeah. You have some uh, dojo where you can practice uh, karate, karate, judo, yeah. yes, or kendo even. And uh, you have the well, the audio booth, and you have you can see maybe there, there are uh, small uh, uh, pictures of the of the different. Uh, Oh, the no, cities. Maybe the city. Nishihara, yeah, the I see Nishihara. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Each city has a um, a mark or a seal. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. So, uh, well, actually, now we are in, uh, like you, we are with the COVID problem. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. we have to wear masks. Sorry, I, I will put it on because I will go <laughs> outside. <laughs> okay. I hope you you can hear me. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And maybe I can show you the, the restaurant that is on the first floor. Restaurant? Okay. Oh. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You, wow. you can have uh, <laughs> some Okinawan food. Uh, it's very, very good. Sorry. Wow, this is amazing. And I think it's something yeah. that most of us have never, you know, um, to think about the different Okinawan communities all around the world. But to actually see it in, per in person <laughs> like this is something else. Yes, yes. This is great. Sorry. Uh, 
maybe the lights. Okay. Do you happen Sorry, to know will... about how many um, how many people how many Okinawans are you know the, how big is the Okinawan community in Buenos oh, Aires? Yes. Uh, um, oh. Oh, I hope we're gonna. Yeah, I think we might. We, he he might go and come back. Uh, but um, Shizu, you you speak Spanish a little bit, right? So a little bit, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maybe we can we can bring him in if he pops in a little bit. I think as he goes up the stairs, it's gonna be a little bit hard. But we'll we'll patch him in if he if yeah. he's able to to um, get back on there. But awesome! Thank you so much. I, this is one of the things that is just so exciting, right? About a live are, ritual. Are we okay? Hey. Now, oh. oh we're okay. We're back. Yes. Uh, oh, it's so good. Sorry. Yes. This is the restaurant. Yes. Let me show you a little. This is so exciting. That's so okay. neat. We should build that in Hawaii here. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, I think he's having some um, uh, technical difficulties, but we'll see if he brings on. But wow, that is. Um, Connection oh, is not good. Back. Sorry. He's back. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. no. Well, that's live TV, guys. I think, you know, we yeah. are patching in all the way from Argentina. So um, we'll try to get him get him back um, in another time. But can you, ima- like, that's a huge center, you know? And I think mm-hmm. um, I've always, like, I've, I've heard, you know, like, I know that we have big Okinawan communities all over the world. But to see it in person is just really amazing. Holy cow. Yeah. And shout out to our own Karo Higa, who's also from Buenos Aires um, and is Okinawan. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can uh, reconnect with Rafael. But for now, maybe we can move on to the next segment. Yeah, so we just want to see where we are. Let's see. And we got a lot of people commenting from all over, still commenting mm-hmm. from all over the world. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, from <laughs> Okayama, Japan. Uh, Dar- another Higa, Daryl Higa from Chambly, Georgia. Wow, we have um, Jakarta, Indonesia. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then I love it, Kalihi, right on. Kalihi, well, mm-hmm. right on. We'll see you guys. <laughs> so definitely um, keep telling us where you're coming in from. And if you have family, right, um, tell them to join in because, you know, this Labor Day weekend, we don't want to have big parties, but um, everyone should be watching from their homes. So make sure everyone's staying safe yeah. and uh, continues to watch from home. So, oh, thank you so much, Rafael. Yeah, uh, that was really exciting to see the the Argentina Okinawa Center in mm-hmm. Buenos Aires. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I uh, that's a I will totally volunteer to do a Hawaii delegation. Actually, I want to do not just Argentina, but Brazil and Peru, maybe Bolivia mm-hmm. as well. I know there's a large Okinawan community in Bolivia as well. So we should do a, um, a South America tour. I believe, you know, the HOA actually did one back in the 1980s because my grandmother went. Oh, I remember. Um, but I'm pretty sure it was a while ago. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to revive that. And, and once, once international travel is back up and running again. So love it. All right. Okay. Yeah, I would love to go. Um, and yeah. Yeah. I will introduce our next set of performances. All right. So we have, um, you know, at this time. Oh, oh okay. is he back on? I actually heard, yeah, Rafael might be back on. So oh, we can okay. bring him on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yay. Oh, okay, 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 great. Let me show you a little. Oh. They are practicing sunshine. Oh. It's late in the evening, actually, it's 9 p.m. Yeah, what time is it? 9 p.m. Oh, oh thank you for joining us at <laughs> late yeah. at night. Go ahead. Uh, oh, so Sorry. Oh, thank okay. you so yeah, much. That, yeah. We yeah. have a, a sunshine practice right now. Oh, How that's many awesome. stories is the building? Uh, it's a three story building. Oh, okay. Wow. That's huge. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's why I, I went running upstairs. All right. Uh, That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for, okay. for sharing, yeah. um, you know, the community with us. This is thank super you for exciting the invitation. for us to see. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for the invitation and congratulations on your 17th anniversary. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, we want to also say that it's also our 70th anniversary so oh. uh, 
we are this year we are celebrating a little different way but we are celebrating also got congratulations. it congratulations okay uh, so congratulations on, on you too okay uh -huh. you, thank you uh, so much it, is the Argentina Okinawa Center having a virtual event that um, viewers from Hawaii might be able to support or join? Uh, yes, uh, we actually have a, a karaoke contest for young, oh. uh, young people. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> we are ha we, um, uh, soon we'll have another one for adults. And uh, of course, the Uchinan Chinohi celebration. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, maybe uh, an Okinawa Matsuri and last year, uh, at the end of the year. So. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay, great. Well, yeah, so, well, uh, yeah. I will send you the information so you can share it with your, your community. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you so much, Rafael. Thank you so much. This is exciting that we can all connect with each other in a way we never have before, you know? So mm -hmm. awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. All right. Okay. Sorry, where were okay. we? <laughs> yes, um, oh. so our next set of performances, we have wonderful artists joining us. We have Azama Honyu Suminokai, we have Okinawa Shonin Nyu Shinden Nyu Karate Association, and then Brandon Ng and Yuki Shiroma's dance group to form Let's Sing Uchinaguchi. Enjoy, mm -hmm. dozo. Hey. Eyo. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I lived in Okinawa for almost five years total. And four of those years I spent teaching English at elementary schools in Naha City. And at that time is when I realized that, you know, most kids in Okinawa don't know anything about their, their own indigenous ancestral language. If you think about it, just a couple of generations ago, um, you know, I think most people probably were still speaking Uchinaguchi in Okinawa. And, you know, there's a time when um, school children were punished, they were humiliated, they were beaten for using their own native language. So when I think about it now, I think those, those were a couple of big factors in, um, in wanting to create um, a song for children. Um, so I created Let's Sing Uchinaguchi to actually use in my English classes at the schools in Okinawa. And luckily, I have a friend, he's Uchinanchu, born and raised in Brazil, and we had worked on a couple projects together before. But I asked him to create an animation for, for this song. And he asked another friend, also Uchinanchu, born and raised in Brazil, if she could do the illustrations. So there's three of us behind these videos that, that are on YouTube. And thanks to technology, thanks to the internet, you know, the, the song and the video has um, reached basically a worldwide audience. And I created it for school children, right? I never thought that people would be dancing it back home, um, you know, from kids to adults. So our language is very important to our culture and our identity. I think most of us who have roots in Okinawa, we identify ourselves as Uchinanchu. And this word itself, Uchinanchu, it comes from the Okinawan language. So if the language disappeared, then that word would also disappear. And then what are we, right? We can only identify ourselves through the words and perspectives of other people. I think the year was 2012. And it was at the Okinawan Center, the Hui Olaulima Organization um, held their annual Children's Day Camp, Warabi Ashibi. And uh, in the course of the week-long camp, they teach all of that to try and give the children a broader view of the culture, of the Okinawan culture. In 2012, I was invited to teach the dance. Because they were teaching Brandon's Let's Sing Uchinaguchi Lesson One song, I thought it would be a great opportunity to combine the dance and the music and the singing together. Brandon's uh, songs has, have given me the opportunity to teach not just the little ones, but the old ones as well, and the middle-aged ones as well. So thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Janice, for her passion and her hard work in keeping the uh, Shimakutuba booth at the festival alive.
Kahushi, which means heartfelt appreciation and gratitude for all that our ancestors did for us. Kahushi. Nutsukusui, life's medicine. Nourishing your life with great food and wonderful friends and family. Nutsukusui. One lily I be. My name is Lily. Me, she told you, Chris, audio. It's nice to meet ya. My favorite word is on the key. Because I love it. My favorite Okinawan word is chibario, meaning do your best. When you do your best, there's no space for failure. I'm from Hui, Okinawa, and my favorite word is chibario, which means go for it. My favorite word is chibario, and it means um, go for it. My favorite saying in Okinawa is takara, which means life is treasure. This is how you introduce yourself to Uchi Naguchi. One day, Ashley Lam Yaibi. One day, Jusan Yaibi. Hi, my name is Ashley Lam, and I'm 13 years old. Hi, my name is Ashley Lam, and I'm 13 years old. Hi, Tai Gusuyo. One day, Janice Yaibi. Wata Uyafa Fujiya Tamagusku Kara Chabita. What I said in our indigenous Okinawan language is yes, hello everyone. My name is Janice and my ancestors are from Tamagusku. Tusui ya Takara. Our elders are a treasure to us. The Okinawan proverb Tusui ya Takara, which means our elders are a treasure to us, is a re reminder to our Sashiki Chinendo Shikai club members to cherish our Ise and all our elders. It is because of them and what they accomplished those many, many years ago that we, their children, grandchildren, and generations to follow will be able to enjoy, thrive, and realize a much fulfilling life. Yuta Saragutu Onike Sabira, Ipe Nife Deberu. Thank you very much. Just because we're social distancing doesn't mean we can't share aloha. And our favorite Zippy's comfort food. Zippy's fundraiser just got better with more to choose from. Tickets can now be redeemed for breakfast and a drink, or even cornbread goes perfect with chili. Zippy's makes it easier to raise more money with more choices. The Hawaii United Okinawa Association's Virtual Okinawan Festival is made possible thanks to donations from viewers like you. Mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. All right. Um, well, Shizu, what did you think? You know, those were really moving performances by the um, Azama Hondu Sumi no Kai, the mm -hmm. Okinawa Shorin Ryu Shinden Ryu Karate Association. I have to do a little shout out. Shout out. Um, that was a combination of what you see as traditional Okinawa Shorin Ryu, Ryukyu Kobudo, and the Shinden, Shinden, which means a new form of Ryukyu, uh, of Karate and, and weapons. So. Oh, exciting mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, and also the Let's Sing Uchinaguchi with Brandon Ng and Yuki right. Shiroma. What did you think about that? Oh, man. Oh, uh, it's so special because, yeah, I'm actually, I, I don't know if embarrassed is the right word, but I actually didn't know any Uchinaguchi before coming here and learning a few phrases. Um, so it's been really special to learn about that. And I think there was a comment by someone saying that they've been showing the Spanish and Uchinaguchi version of Brandon's song. Um, and just really special to think about how yeah. far the reach it's having. Yeah. Oh, and Amazing. also, in, in case you didn't catch, Lynn is in the Karate video, um, just in case you didn't notice. Um, looks very different from the smiling Lynn here. <laughs> I would not mess with her, but yeah, you looked great. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shizu. That's, mm -hmm. um, I think, for those of you who have been to the live in-person Okinawan festivals who we usually perform on Sunday mornings, and yeah, it's always great to have the little kids and everything, but we set up cameras in the dojo and we didn't realize that every time we stomped on the ground or kicked, it would shake. 
you could shake <laughs> a little bit. So <laughs> I think it was just like we couldn't help it. So we said, okay, we just left it. But yeah, no, I think um, somebody mentioned like, whoa, you could see the force, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really, really exciting. Yeah. So we're we're um, we're super excited to have all of these different different ways that we we um, connect with each other, and especially the we are Uchina, uh, we are HOA. You know, the question we asked was, "What is your favorite Uchina Gucci word?" Mm -hmm. And um, Shizu, what's your favorite Uchina Gucci word? Yeah, um, so phrase, I was gonna say "ichari bacho de," but. Um which means once we meet, we're like brothers and sisters. But mm -hmm. I think that's a little more commonly known. So I decided, oh, I should research a few phrases. And mm. one that I came across was de adanayumi, which means kindness can never be destroyed in any way. And I think that speaks a lot to that uchinanju aloha spirit. So, yeah. Wow. How about you? One, more, one more time. Chi, what was that again? Shinjichinude adanayumi. Adanayumi. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. You can never destroy kindness. Oh, that's that's... That's a that's a great phrase. Um, for me, it's probably just, you know, the phrase or the word yuimaru. Yuimaru is the, you know, it's not just people helping one another, but it's communities helping one, each other, one another. And I think that's so indicative of our Okinawan community. And that's something we should all t take huge pride in, you know, that um, when times are, especially when times are rough, we do come together and, you know, we figure problems out. We, we help each other out. And um, I think it's another huge part of our what brings our community together kind of this resilience that has mm -hmm. become so important in covid so yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay so what a beautiful thank you shizu for oh i feel like i should have done research now <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah no exciting um but yeah just want to remind everyone you know we are celebrating here on um our Okinawan festival, we, we have places for you to donate. Um, and we're looking at, you know, a lot of these different ways that people are, are connecting with us. And we also have a KHON special tonight on um, mm -hmm. 7 p.m. So after this is done, right, and before Bone Dance, right in between, you go, should go watch on KHON. Actually, on their YouTube page, I, I understand they're going to stream it on YouTube. So if you're not here in Hawaii and you don't have cable and you don't have KHON, you can still go to YouTube and uh, go to KHON2, and they're going to have our one-hour special, which has the highlights of today's shows, plus a few other um, tidbits that, that should be really great for people to watch. So, worldwide audience again. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we're, we're ready, right, for another uh, our next segment. We're going to bring on jessica yamamoto who is our special live correspondent and we have okinawan festival we're partnering with sherry tamashiro and okinawan festival this year which has just been an amazing project right it's a food event supporting okinawan owned and okinawan i would say inspired food businesses and restaurants you know um it back in 1923 and I think we would, um, or in the early 20s, I would say, there's a lot of Okinawan restaurants that started. And that's like one of the um, many ways that people after the plantation started their own businesses. And um, we've definitely impacted the food culture here in Hawaii. So if you want to go to their uh, website, we have about 20 different restaurants uh, participating in Okinawan Festival this year and you can go into the website below and you can find all the different specials and participating businesses um at that banner there right there um mm -hmm. and um but let's let's i'm excited to bring on another live segment so this is another another fun one let's yeah, see so jess besides being the okinawa food special correspondent is also the shinka <laughs> hawaii vice president so hi, yeah, thank you for joining us jess can you see us hi thank yeah, you so much for hi. having us so, so nice Jess, to have you. Yeah. tell us where you are. We're at Elena Cafe. I don't know if many of you know this, but there is a juice and smoothie bar located on Kapiolani Avenue. And I'm actually here with Jackie, who is the business owner of Olena Cafe. And Jackie, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your business as well as your special for Festival. Yes, yeah, so um, we opened in February 2020, right before the pandemic. Coffee, smoothies, 
funny, okay? Talking about tea and so um, Olena is uh, cold and quiet. And so it's in a lot of our menu items. And, uh, yeah, so many people who benefit. And I heard that the Okinawans before they drink, they would drink a one shot so that they don't get a hangover. <laughs> Yes. But, um, <laughs> my grandma would drink the tea all the time. Mm-hmm. And um, we just have it in almost everything on her menu. Mm-hmm. So, so as Jackie mentioned, you know, she, her grandma actually farmed back in the day. And so your fest, uh, your festival, excuse me, special is uh, bitter melon juice? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think Lynn, you tried it out actually before the. I do. I have my I have mine right here actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Jess, can you? We're having a little bit of a hard time hearing her. Um, can you get? Um, not you, Jess, but um, yeah, hers is a bit soft. So what you said that was ukon, yeah, ukon, which in um, Hawaiian is olena, um, olena, and then I guess in English it's turmeric, right? Yeah. But yes, I. I admit there were a few nights where I definitely had the ukon power, ukon chikara, ukon no chikara, <laughs> before a night of drinking. So, I see, I see. And uh, Jackie is also having running another special, right? For or not a special secret menu item that they might bring back, right? Yeah, the uh, Okinawan sweet potato salad. Oh, sweet potato salad. Uh, sweet potato sweet salad. Potato yeah. salad. Mm-hmm. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for for joining us and participating in Okinawan Festival mm-hmm. and, you know, um, finding out more about your Okinawan roots and sharing the healthy part of our of our culture. <laughs> yeah. With, Definitely. With yeah. 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 So Jackie mentioned balance. So you drink, you eat all your undagi and your pig feet soup and your oxtail soup and then you balance it out with a healthy bitter melon juice. <laughs> And super yeah. potato salad. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Perfect. Um, and hopefully thank everyone you. can go try it out. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right. Well, that was Jessica Yamamoto at Olena mm-hmm. Cafe. And thank you so much. I uh, just want to give a shout out to the Okinawan Festival team. Uh, they really gathered, you know, Sherry has gathered a lot of um, new restaurants who are doing research into their Okinawan heritage. They may not have known too much about it, but like, it sounds like, um, no, she, she knew her grandma, you know, and, and the roots of like farming the turmeric and knowing that that's a, um, of course we use it here in Hawaii too, and all over the world actually, but how, um, it's, it's another one way to literally get back to our roots. Right. Yeah. yeah. And um, Lynn, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that if you Google Okinawan Restaurant Project, you can kind of yes. read into the history of all of that as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's just another great um, resource we have online that um, people can read into if you want to do more research. And if you also happen to have, you know, pictures of old or the actual menus from old restaurants or things like that. Um, I know people are looking for them. So uh, if you know of any, you have artifacts from the old Hawaii restaurants that have, um, many of them have since closed mm-hmm. down. But um, uh, I know Shari and her team are collecting um, menus from old restaurants, o- old Okinawan owned restaurants. So, all right. That was super, I was like, I know it's a little bit hard for for, for people to hear. Mm-hmm. So we apologize for that. But um, we'll, we're we're going to move on and, and make sure that we have another microphone for the next time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so just another quick uh, shout out. Thank you to all of you who is uh, who are, um, you know, they're commenting like, yeah, ukon tea, uh, goya tea. I think it's, it's just such another wonderful way where we can get in touch with our heritage and it is very healthy for you. So excited mm-hmm. to share that information with us. Um, 
just want to remind people to go to our website. If you like what you're seeing and you, you know, you're enjoying all the content, please go and donate. Um, we appreciate the support. We appreciate the help. Um, this is one of the most important events for the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. So we humbly ask if you are in a position to please donate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think Okinawa has some of the most centenarians in the world, so definitely try some of their Goya. And Goya I'm hoping and this is going to help me get there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and your generous contributions, they also support HOA to help perpetuate Uchinanshu culture. So besides festivals like this, we also have Yuntaku, which is a bi-weekly broadcast series where we highlight Uchinanshu organizations in Hawaii. Um, and possibly across the world. Uh, we also have Konkuru um, to support our community Geno groups take their tests in Okinawa. We have workshops, we have children's day camps like Wadavi Ashibi. So again, your contributions mean so much to me and we really appreciate your support all across the years. Oh, well, thank you guys so much. And um, so we're moving on to our next segment, which of course, it's about food. We uh, partnered. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank. We have a spe special feature from Rainbow Drive-In, uh, who is also one of our gold sponsors. And for those of you who may not know, there's a lot of people who don't know that Rainbow Drive-In actually has Okinawan roots. Uh, we also have Utage Restaurant, which is one of our special restaurants here on Oahu in Kalihi that a lot of people go to for that comfort food, Okinawan comfort, J Japanese and Okinawan comfort food. Um, we also have a performance from the Tamagusku Ryu Senjukai Hawaii, uh, Nuchibana, as well as a message from our 69th Cherry Blossom Queen and Court. So, those are. So Rainbow Drive-In started back in 1961. My grandpa was the original founder. He was born here in Neva Beach uh, and his family moved back to Okinawa. He came back to Oahu right before the war. When the war started, he volunteered to fight uh, in the 442 100 Battalion. And that's where he kind of learned how to cook. And here we are now, um, 60 years later. Currently, we have uh, five locations, but this is the original, uh, located in Kapahulu. Our current menu really hasn't changed from day one. We don't necessarily serve Okinawan food, but we serve what we like to term Hawaiian comfort food. Rainbow Drive is known for basically um, our mixed plate, which is uh, boneless chicken, terry beef, and mahi mahi. We're known for our chili, and we're known for our local mocos. Just wanted to say a thank you to the Okinawan community for really coming out and um, supporting us during you know, COVID last year. Um, we really felt it and we really appreciate your continued support, so thank you. Hi, we're here at Utage Restaurant in the heart of Kalihi. That is a wonderful local Okinawan and Japanese restaurant um, and we're very lucky to have Jocelyn with us today. Anyway, I came 1974. reason why we're, I'm here is my great-grandmother uh, immigrant here first and then of course one by one my mom my family came my mom's size family here and um, this restaurant being open 2002 in August so this year we're gonna be 19th year I'm very thankful that you know customer support you know and my of course my staff everybody supporting me all these years I born and raised in uh, Futen Magino one uh, okay. but you also have roots in Nago right yeah my Nago is my father's side family yeah he's from he born and raised in Nago Ming Utage is actually one of my good friends he pretty much you know helped me find a name because his meaning of the Utage is like this little gathering place and I think that's really suitable for our place because we have, we have another big restaurant, we have a small restaurant. So, you know, people get together and the people do talk story. Okay, other dishes, you know, popular is a shoyu pok donburi mm -hmm. and also our daily specials on the menu. Mm -hmm. And uh, people can follow us on Instagram, they can see it, you know, the, what's a special daily we have. One of the exciting things you guys do is the Andagi Thursdays. Andagi right? Thursday, every Thursday. So, this week we're making the um, Regular andegi, sata andegi, but next week you're Okinawan sea potato andegi. We alternate every week. Tell us a little bit about your family and you know, like your daughter is help working with you now. Yeah, actually all my three kids work here. Oh. Yeah. You're so lucky. my oldest daughter, she does a part time. My second daughter, she works full time. My son works full time. Yeah. So my son take care of the whole kitchen, and so am I, and my daughter take care of the front staff. So let's talk a little bit about the food we have here today. So this is, we'll start on this side actually. Tell us a little bit about this dish. This is a nabera champlu with chicken. It's a miso style. Mm. And we have 
like a nakami, no, 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 sorry, nakami soup. Right? Nakami soup, yeah. yeah. Nakami soup with a shiitake mushroom and konnyaku inside with mm. a big stomach. Right now, the nakami soup is getting popular because no one is making. Nakami is a thick stomach soup mm -hmm. that's getting popular. But when I was in Okinawa, this used to be uh, only for celebration time they used to make. And uh, this is a uh, nasubi shoyu pork uh, with the tofu, with the green onions. This is the most popular dishes right now. And this is the uh, Okinawan miso soup. With you a see it's a big bowl. Big yeah? bowl, yeah. I get the <laughs> tofu, pork, and eggs on top. Oh, very. Maybe lots of vegetables. This is a like full a, meal. Yeah, it is a full meal. So this one is the nabera champuru with chicken. Chicken. Right? It's a and miso flavor. Miso flavor. Um, nabera is the the um, squash, squash, right? Squash, squash family. Yeah. Yes. And what's interesting is, I bet people won't recognize it, but this is actually a lufa. The lufa the scrub. Scrub your body. <laughs> when it's dry up, it's gonna it's be a dried. scrubber. <laughs> so this is way before it's dried, right? Yes. Um, you use the squash uh, in um, soups, right? And all kinds mm -hmm. of different champuru. Um, today we have it with chicken and tofu with uh, miso. Well, thank you again, yeah, Justin. Thank you very thank you much. So thank much you for, for sharing, you know, Utage's story with us, and um, and and continuing to you know provide. Um, for our community, you know, to oh. have Okinawan dishes available I'm very happy daily to. is is really something special, and we're lucky to have you.
My name is Taylor Onaga, and I'm the 69th Cherry Blossom Festival First Princess. My name is Motomi Otsubo, and I'm a 69th Cherry Blossom Festival Princess. My name is Taylor Tashiro, and I am a 69th Cherry Blossom Festival Princess. My name is Shelly Imamura, and I am a 69th Cherry Blossom Festival Princess. The Cherry Blossom Festival was founded in 1953 by the Honolulu Japanese Junior Chamber of Commerce and continues to be one of the longest continually running ethnic festivals here in Hawaii. The festival's mission is to enrich the lives of young Japanese American women and to preserve and perpetuate the Japanese culture and heritage. Contestants are given the opportunity to learn about their heritage as well as develop their personal and professional development skills. We also get to learn about our rich heritage through a plethora of Japanese culture classes. One of my favorites was mochi making at the Okinawan Center. I got to fill my mochi with my favorite, natto! We even learned a little bit more about the Okinawan culture through a different class. We were able to take an Okinawan culture class taught by John Itomura, Executive Director of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association, and Derek Asato, who taught us how to play Nada So So on the Ichigo Ichie. The song resonated with me as we played during class because of my grandmother's passing last year. The song Nada So So is about bringing back the memories of our loved ones back to life and about continuing to remember and perpetuate their legacy, which follows the mission of the Cherry Blossom Festival. Being an Okinawan at heart, I've attended the Okinawan Festival for many years because it was always so much fun. I initially attended the Okinawan Festival as a dresser to dress the participants in the beautiful, colorful, traditional Okinawan clothing. And I've attended many other years as a regular attendee, dancing the Fukushima dance around the Yagura Tower. Till this day, I try to keep up with the kids, dancing in the inner circle, and for those of you that attend yearly, you guys know what I'm talking about. I look forward to this every single year, and I hope to see all of your familiar faces once again. The Cherry Blossom Festival loves to volunteer with the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. We have volunteered for various events, such as the Okinawan Festival, and recently, their Andagi and Andadog drive through fundraiser. It reminds me of attending the Okinawan Festival every year to enjoy not only the wonderful performances, but also the various food booths. 
My favorite will always be the underdog, and I remember always standing in long lines waiting for my two brown bags full of underdogs. We are all Uchi Nanchu or Uchi Nanchu at heart and have family roots in Naha, Azagushikawa, Gushikawa, and Itoman. On behalf of the 69th Cherry Blossom Festival Corps, we would like to say mahalo to the Hawaii United Okinawa Association for allowing us to take part in the virtual Okinawan Festival. Please take care and enjoy the rest of the program. Mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. And mahalo to all of our sponsors for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. Oh, wow. Thank you. That was a special message from our the 69th Cherry Blossom Festival Queen and Court. I just got to do a sh sh big shout out to the Cherry Blossom Queen, Brianna Yamada. She yay. <laughs> She's a member of Shinka, Azagushikawa, and Gushikawa, and it's been a long time. Long time, as I mean, like, she's only so young, right? But she's, like, almost her whole life, she's uh, been active with the Okinawan community here in Hawaii. So, yay, Brienne! All right. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, just earlier this morning, we had um, our president, Patrick Miyashiro, bring in his famous Andagi and Andadogs and mm. volunteer, Kareem Takara. She also brought in her uh, pork belly soup. Ooh, and yeah. Just the love that's felt and the care that's felt through food and specifically Okinawan food is really special. So really enjoyed that segment. And yeah. thank you to Tamago Skuryu Senjikai Hawaii for that riveting performance and Rainbow Drive-In and Utage Restaurant. Um, it's so nice to be able to have you guys in our community. And thank you for inviting us into your home. So, kwachi sabira. Hey. So, talking about inviting people into our home. So, we have another special guest uh, to come and talk about our online marketplace. So, this was another um, silver lining of the pandemic. We started our HUOA online marketplace last year. So, we want to bring on our a past HOA, she's a past president of the HOA. She was one of the youngest presidents ever of the HOA and now our online marketplace chair, Courtney Takara. Courtney, are you ready? Hey, Hello. there you are. <laughs> all right. Hi. All right. Hey, she's can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about what's new about our HOA online marketplace? I noticed you're wrapping some gear. So, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for um, letting me come on the show. Super excited. So for those of you who um, signed on first thing 8 a.m. yesterday morning, thank you so much. So far, we've had over 700 orders, um, totaling over $75,000. We've well surpassed what we did in online sales last year. This hat that I'm wearing, we did a collaboration with Information, which is a local um, kind of skate lifestyle company here in Hawaii. Three of the principals they have Uchinanchi roots and they're so proud. So they partnered with us this year. This hat sold out in minutes. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't get one, but <laughs> what I will tell you is we have more plans to work with information later this year. So please stay tuned. I also am wearing their high script shirt. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is give you a quick sneak peek of what you can find. All of the merchandise, shophua.com. Now, you know, some things have already sold out, but we still have festival shirts. We still have some information gear available. So please don't wait. These are going fast. I mean, I don't know that we're going to make it through the end of tomorrow. Um, but let me start showing you some of our new merchandise. So let me just switch my camera around here. One second, guys. <laughs> now, okay, so... Let's start up here. So we have currently, um, this is our theme design for Okinawan Festival every year. We come up with a theme. Shout out to Gordon and his crew for um, graphic design work that they do, including 
our Andagi shirt this year, as you can see on the iPad, the virtual festival. Um, we're really excited that we could bring back our Andagi friends is always a really popular shirt. So these are available in adult uh, ladies and youth t-shirts as well as adult tank tops. Um, so these are always popular items. Please go on the website to see current availability in terms of sizes and colors. Everything varies. We got to apologize this year. COVID's just been so crazy. Um, if you guys didn't know, there's a nationwide shortage on t-shirt blanks, which is crazy. So we've had a hard time trying to get our shirts, but you know, whatever we could get, we, we were able to uh, secure for festival. We also have a couple more designs that are in production right now. So I don't have them with you, but you can see them on the website, including our t-shirt contest design winner from Morris Umeno, as well as a high tie, high size Shisa ladies tee and the Asa Shisa tee for kids. Now, information. This this is what everyone's been talking about. We did a collab with them. This is called the Purveyor shirt. So this is the front of the shirt. So it really shows our, our common connection between Hawaii and Okinawa and how we're just proud Uchinanchu. And this is the back of the shirt representing the collaboration between our two companies. That high script is um, a signature logo of information. P people, you know, ask your grandkids. They will know what this brand is. Um, so that's the script shirt. You notice they dropped in the island of Okinawa. Mm -hmm. They also made toddlers and youth shirts that say hi, like hi tie, hi sai. And we feature the Minsa print on these. And so it's really awesome because we're educating our next generation about the different textiles. Awesome. We have Bengata and Minsa um, all integrated into the different merchandise from information. So yeah, we still have some of these available. We also have a jersey. I don't have that to show you right now. We do still have some sizes available. So check out our website. The jersey looks so awesome. Um, I wish we could have had it in time for this week, but it's currently in transit, but we should have it next week ready to ship out for those of you who ordered it. I heard people asking about where can I get Brandon's Let's Sing Uchina Gucci CD. We have it on our shophua.com. Um, we also have a lot of other merchandise, HUA logo gear, polo shirts, hats, Uchinanchu name shirts. This is a specialty item for this year. Uh, we couldn't do our mini Okinawan festival in person due to COVID, so, but we still want to partake of our delicious, refreshing plantation iced tea that you would always find at the country store. So they made some collector item cups um, that you can purchase online on our website. And then of course, get ready for tonight. We have Bone Dance gear, HUA Bone Dance gear, Bone Dance towels, and a special shout out to our HUA Monday crafters. These volunteers have been working tirelessly over the past year, making crafts, Bone Dance accessories, all kinds of fun stuff, masks, and you folks have just been purchasing it like crazy. So thank you to those volunteers for making these wonderful crafts and making available for sale. All the proceeds from shophoa.com help HUOA. So thank you so much. Please visit our website, shop, shop, shop. Um, don't wait. It will not be there tomorrow. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. And um, Courtney, can you confirm whether we're shipping internationally? Oh, point? yes. Thank you, Shizu. So that's a great question. So um, we currently ship to Hawaii, all the neighbor islands, mainland US. This year for a virtual Okinawan festival, we have just enabled shipping to Okinawa and Japan. Yay. Yay. So all of our friends in Okinawa and Japan that are watching, you guys can get your merchandise, um, you know, past festival shirts, go ahead and place an order and we'll ship USPS Priority International all other international addresses um it'll be a case-by-case -case basis so go ahead and shoot us an email um and we can figure out you know whether or not we can ship to you just because some things it just may not be cost effective or because of the restrictions and shipping certain merchandise but you know shoot us an email at info at hua.org and we'll see what we can do um to help you get your official okinawan festival merchandise Great. Yeah. And so in case you missed it, again, you can find all of this at shophoa.com or you can also go to the okinawafestival.com and just look for the shopping tab. Um, but thank you for setting up shop in like your living room. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, 
Yes, and shout out to all of our volunteers who have been tirelessly working to fold t-shirts, pack orders, get merchandise up on the website, take photos. Every It takes a lot of people to get this shop running. Um, but, you know, and thank you to all of you who have already purchased. Um, yeah, we just really appreciate all the support. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. All right. That was super exciting. I, I'm Yay. like... Um, and trying to, in my mind, budget for all the different Okinawan festival shirts. I actually, um, I like this cup, you know, and so I was like, I, I, I have a little sample Ooh. of it here. I don't know if you could see mine back there, yeah, but I'm going to pour my, uh, Put your my Goya, Goya, juice, my Goya yeah. juice. And I, I was told, you got to drink this ice cold. So maybe I'm going to put that in here and uh, drink my my goya juice from my um it's actually supposed to have plantation iced tea and for those of you who don't know there's a special story behind that plantation iced tea and why um you know it's called we call it jane's plantation iced tea and that story is in here um jane's tea stand we're selling 10 years of celebrating of the tradition of hoa's festival having the country store by aza yogi and uh, um they had this this drink because it was so hot. Remember at Kapiolani Park, it used to be so hot. Mm. And so these these um, cups were first created by the Aza Yogi member Sumi Cheng or Tanis, sorry. And it was um, through Jane Serikaku's support. She's our um, past executive director and past president of the HUA that we we soon had Jane's tea stand at the at the Okinawan Festival. So these are limited just for this year, um, and you can go online to our online shop and buy them. So. I should mention, somebody asked me, what do I have back here, too? I um, I forgot to mention, somebody, is that Inari Sushi? No, this is actually Manju. Ooh, I wish you guys could. Uh, this is Auntie K's famous Manju, sweet potato Manju from Ige's Halava. Oh, yeah, uh, it, it's good. And um, I wish you guys could could um, taste it with me here. But like, I'll, I'll just break one open because it's so nice and purple on the inside, yeah. And then um, we also have from Kilani, I, I have, thank you, Courtney, for picking this up. But Kilani Bakery is also making these um, turnovers, the Okinawan sweet potato turnovers. And this is, um, again, food from Ige's Halava, the Andagi. So just a lot of good, fun stuff. I'm going to start if you guys don't mind. I'm going to... Mm. And so does the Goya... Does no, the tumbler does not come with your Goya juice. You have to buy that separately. So... But I like it. It tastes a lot like uh, best like celery. Actually, you taste celery right away, um, and other vegetables. And what other fruit? I think cucumber. And then a goya hits you boom right there. Mm. Yeah, you know it's it's funny. Mm. I I'm actually Good. not a huge yeah. fan of the color purple, but <laughs> it makes me a bad Okinawan. So I'm trying to get over it so I can you know rep Okinawa a little more. But, um, yeah, this is good, actually. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you to everyone who has been helping out with our, our online marketplace. It really is like a, a big family. You know, um, the, the website is one thing, but fulfillment is like a totally another a whole nother ball game. And um, it's been something that we've had to kind of test and learn throughout the pandemic. So mahalo to Courtney and her team and all of the volunteers and the Monday yeah. crafters and everybody who is helping par um, participate in our um virtual okinawan festival t-shirt sales yay thanks to gordon for making these and the other one the, the virtual one the youtube one is so cute so cute mm -hmm. thank mm. you all right ah yeah. oh. okay so where were we sorry we had courtney online and we also <laughs> you know this is such an awesome way for us to celebrate all things Okinawan. And so we're going to um, take this time. Just once again, I want to share, um, thank our sponsors for supporting the Virtual Okinawan Festival. And, you know, it's through donations from people like you and our sponsors that allow us to continue to share Uchinanchu Aloha throughout the world. So. Yeah. And again, um, please keep putting things in the comments. We want to know where you're from. I saw Hi Sai from Argentina by Hedusan. Um, let us know how you're enjoying the program. If you have any comments, yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. So next, we'd like to introduce our, our next segment. We're going to celebrate this year, actually makes the 70th anniversary of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. So our organization was established in 1951. 
And we have a short video highlighting the 70th anniversary, followed by a tour of the Hawaii Okinawa Center by um, John Itomura and me. So John and I did a very quick video tour of the HOC. Um, and we're hoping that a lot of people who may have come to the HOC for parties or, you know, other events um, will really learn about the rich cultural heritage that's behind the center. Mm -hmm. And we're also really excited to introduce our very first special performers all the way from Okinawa. We have Nanairo no Oto, uh, featuring vocalist Kari Miyagi. The Okinawan group Nanairo no Oto is a collaboration of various performers and singers centered around the guitarist Ho Mare. Many of their cover songs feature the sunshine and their song in Uchinaguchi, of course. And the goal is to inspire the younger generation to learn their native indigenous language. So look forward to that. Very good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. In 1900, Okinawan immigrants arrived in Hawaii. In 1951, the United Okinawa Association was established and 40 years later, the Okinawa Center became a reality. Through the support of over 50 individual clubs and 40,000 members, the HOA has continued its mission of promoting, preserving, and perpetuating Okinawa culture and heritage. For your support throughout these past 70 years, we express our sincerest mahalo and ipe nipe de bru. Aloha and hi tai gusuyo. We're here at the Hawaii Okinawa Center to give you a very quick tour of our wonderful home of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. My name is Lin Miyahira and I was a past president in 2020. And I'm John Itumura, past president 2008 and we're glad you can join us for this wonderful tour. So this building was built in 1990 with the help of many in our Hawaii Okinawa community. And the purpose of this building is to give a tribute to our Isseis and, of course, probably many Niseis as well. That's true. So we want to thank you for everyone who helped this make, make this dream a reality. So we're going to give you a quick tour today about the cultural and significant place of our beautiful home here in Waipio. I wanted to welcome you here to our Issei Garden here at the Hawaii Okinawa Center. It features a statue of Kyuzo Toyama who is also known as the father of Okinawan immigration. He's from the town of Kin in Okinawa, and he worked very hard to make sure that Okinawans were able to find better um, lives around the world. And he sent the first group of Okinawan immigrants to Hawaii who landed here in 1900. So this garden is dedicated to all of the Issei, all of the first generation immigrants who worked so hard to make better lives for the future generations here in Hawaii. I want to give a shout out to our Kin Club of the HUOA who maintains this garden and helps keep it very beautiful for everyone to see. They come here as volunteers and they clean everything up and they make sure that this stone map of the world is still beautiful. We also have some, some information over there that tells you about the differences between Hawaii and Okinawa and how actually very similar they are. An interesting fact, Toyama Kyuzo is actually buried right over there. No, no, not there. Actually at Mililani Cemetery. Behind the Issei Garden, we also have this very large rock. And this is our centennial rock. It was given to us as a gift from the Kin town. Uh, it's very heavy and it was brought here in honor of the 100th anniversary of Okinawan immigration to Hawaii, which is in the year 2000. John, John, how heavy is that rock? Uh, it's very heavy but I think it's about 18 tons all right we have two of these beautiful shisas here at the Okinawan Center they were made in Okinawa but they were made with dirt from Okinawa as well as dirt from right here in YPO to make this beautiful clay with these shisas protecting us from harm evil and bad karma we were over by the male shisa, now we're here by the female shisa. And under this female shisa is a time capsule that was buried here in 1990 when the center was built and we'll open it 50 years later, maybe earlier. I want to welcome you to the main hall of our Hawaii Okinawa Center, which we also call the Teruya Pavilion. Uh, thanks to the Teruya family who donated significantly to the Hawaii Okinawa, the building of the Hawaii Okinawa Center. I also want to bring note of our major donors here 
who helped us raise the $9 million we needed to make this dream a reality. So there are over 5,000 families, individuals, corporations from both Hawaii and Okinawa who helped donate to make this dream come true. And in 1990, actually this area in the front here was the home of the opening ceremony where we did a grand opening for the Hawaii Okinawa Center. I was probably like eight years old at the time, but I do remember you know, our HOA leaders here up here, uh, my dad included, who was uh, Wayne Mia here, he was president at the time. And many of our big donors, visitors from Okinawa, all came to help us celebrate the opening of the Hawaii Okinawa Center. Across the street, we also have the Hawaii Okinawa Plaza. Now this building was opened in 2018 and has been a dream from the early 2000s to create a retail business plaza that could help sustain our Hawaii Okinawa Center. So this building has some dentists, some insurance people, there's some medical facilities, but overall it's been a wonderful dream to come true and I want to thank the Hawaii Okinawa Plaza team for making it a reality. What I'm holding here is one of the original Kawara tile all the way from Okinawa. 30 years ago, Okinawa donated $150,000 worth of Kawara tile to help build the Hawaii Okinawa Center. These buildings are the only buildings outside of Okinawa that have Kawara tile roofs. I also want to welcome you to the Takakura Garden. Now this beautiful garden here at the Hawaii Okinawa Center is one of our favorite places and it's maintained by our volunteer gardener team. I wanna thank them for all the hard work that they do to maintain this beautiful landscaping that we have here. And I wanna make sure that everyone knows we have a mixture of Hawaiian and Okinawan plants here in the Takakura Garden, which makes it a real favorite place for people who are renting our facility to take, do weddings, family photos, and it's just a beautiful and tranquil place. One of the highlights of our Takakura Garden is of course our beautiful koi pond. So in this pond, we have over 30 koi and they of course bring good luck to the Hawaii Okinawa Center. The Hawaii Okinawa Center has a lot of traditional aspects. One of that is the traditional himpun. Normally you find this wall in front of Okinawa homes to prevent evil spirits from entering. Like it helps prevent evil spirits from entering our beautiful facility. Right behind the himpun is our Higa building which houses our museum and our administrative office. Okay, we're here in the Higa building on the first floor where we have a wonderful museum and we wanted to show you some, we have some beautiful Okinawan artifacts, a lot of historical things, and a lot of things that are really important to our Hawaii Okinawa community. So when you have a chance, please come join us on the first floor of our Higa building to share in our museum. We're now in our Seri Kaku Chaya, which is kind of a meeting room and it's a multi-purpose room that we've used to house a lot of our workshops, club meetings, and various other things that we do here. So we also have a lot of books here that were a part of our library. And this room is really the heart and soul of where a lot of the work we do at the Hawaii Okinawa Center. So say hi, DJ. Hey. So once again, thank you for joining us on this very quick tour of the Hawaii Okinawa Center here in Waipio. For those of you who may have been here for a wedding, birthday party, or graduation party, I hope you know a little bit more about the history and cultural significance of our beautiful center here in Waipio. So mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. Who inspired me to join our club is my mother-in-law Jean Matsuda who was the first woman president and I became the second. My grandparents, parents and Ed Kuba, my cousin, encouraged me to join the organization and I'm very grateful. Uh, throughout my childhood I enjoyed eating my grandmother's uh, andaki and my parents were uh, really involved in our organization but it wasn't until a few years after college that I had the chance to teach English in Okinawa through the JET program and it's that experience that had a really big impact um, on my life and uh, when I returned to live in Hawaii uh, I that's the point where I got really involved. Aloha! In 1988 I went on an HOA study tour with my parents to Okinawa. That experience inspired me to become an active member of my club, 
ごしちゃんソンジェンカイはいさーいこんにちは私の名前は宮城かりんです、えー、沖縄にゆかりのあるうちなんちゅうの皆さんこんにちは Hello, my name is Karim Miyagi. I was born and raised here in Okinawa. Thank you for the opportunity to participate in Virtual Okinawan Festival 2021. Kaisai omedetou gozaimasu. I wish I could be there to share my photo exhibit. However, due to COVID, I cannot be there, but my heart is there. Anyway, I would like to share my three music videos. Hope you enjoy three songs. And hopefully, I will see you next year in our beautiful island, Okinawa. Ihei b a b i l u arigato! So, s t e aloha!
しゃいだ道」「青葉の森で駆け回る」「遊び回り日差しの街」「誰かが呼んでる」I want to thank everyone for supporting the HUA through these years and especially during this rough time that we're going through now. Please, everyone, thank you again and please stay safe. Mahalo, mahalo, ni he de bidu. Hai! i p e ni he de bidu. Hai, Sai, everyone. We really appreciate all of the support we've received over the years from Hawaii and Okinawa. i p e ni he de bidu. Stay safe and see you soon. Aloha! Thank you so much for supporting the HUA and our Hawaii Okinawa Plaza. I would like to thank you for your support of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association, Ukaji Debiru. Because of you, we are able to perpetuate and share the Okinawan culture. Gusuyo nugun, kukuru kara, ippe nife debitan. Hi, Sai, and aloha to all of our supporters over the years here in Hawaii, in Okinawa, and around the world. Ippe nife debiru. To the past, present, and future, 
おかげさまで。I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Executive Council, also to thank the donors and supporters and volunteers of the HOA. いっぺいにふいデビル、エマハロ。はい、さあ、グスヨー、エブリワン。It's 2021, but I still have to thank all of you out there, all our volunteers, all our donors for helping us through these very difficult times. And I hope that you'll continue to support us in the future. Again, mahalo and ipe nihe deviru. Hi, Shai. And welcome to the Hawaii United Okinawa Association's Virtual Okinawan Festival. Thank you very much for all your support throughout the years. And what do we love to eat at the Okinawan Festival? Andagi! Hi everyone, thank you so much for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you for supporting HUOA and our Uchina Yaninju family. Ukurashaya, proud to be Uchinanju. Shibari yo! Ipe nife deburu, mahalo. Thank you everyone. Thank you for supporting HUOA. Ipe nihe deberu. Mahalo. Aloha and mahalo everyone from Hawaii. Thank you for all your support. Hi Sai. Aloha. Kibareo. Aloha everyone. Mahalo for supporting the Okinawan festivals past, present, and future. To all Uchinanchus, be proud. There will be moments of triumph. There will be times of calm. There will be setbacks you never saw coming. Life doesn't always move in a straight line. But for over 80 years, Island Insurance has been helping people recover from the unexpected. Because the best way to keep moving forward is to get back on your feet. Island Roots, Island Values, Island Insurance. Aloha! Please kokua and help us reach new viewers by subscribing to our HUOA YouTube page. Look for the red subscribe button on the bottom right. It's free. Your subscription supports our mission to share Uchinanchu Aloha around the world. Also, don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up. Mahalo and Yuta Surugutu Urige Sabina. Wow, that was an wow. awesome segment. Thank you guys so much.、Um, I want to go back a little bit to the HOC tour. Sorry, that was a really fun one that John and I put, to get to, put together kind of quickly. But the,、um, you know, there w a s a lot of people who were involved in the, bringing the Okinawa Center to life. And so I just want to thank Maurice Yamasato. Whose、uh, architectural design is what you're seeing at the Hawaii Okinawa Center, as well as the Hawaii Okinawa Plaza across the street. We also have you know, the Legacy Hall, which is actually the Teruya Pavilion that we call.、Um, so, for those of you who've been part at parties in our big hall,、um, the Teruya family, who is actually the where the Time Supermarket family prior、um, donated. A lot to make sure that, that we were able to raise enough money. We also call the Higa building next door, our smaller building that houses the museum and our offices.、Uh, we call that the Higa building. And the Higas are actually Jason Higa from Zippy's. And the Francis and Charlie Higa、uh, were the starters of what is now Zippy's Napoleon Bakery and Ace Catering. So mahalo to them too, as well. We also have the Serikaku, Chaya,、uh, where a lot of our meetings happen. It's kind of where the magic happens behind. Uh, the scenes. And so I want to thank、uh, Jimmy Sarakaku and his family as well for donating. As well as we have a lot of our viewers、um, from Okinawa and especially the Okinawa Hawaii Kyokai. They have been huge supporters of the HOA and kind of our sister, our counterpart over in Okinawa. And they helped raise a lot of funds for our Hawaii Okinawa Plaza project for many years. So thank you to all of the OHK, we call them Okinawa Hawaii Kyokai、uh, members, for your continued support. And this is such a great way of, you know, Really, the, the culmination of Yui Maru, of our communities coming together and helping us to see what we can accomplish. So, Ippe Nihe Deviru for all of everyone's support. And of course,、um, you know, those are our major donors, but it's viewers like you as well、um, who 
support the HOA. And, you know, you can do a small donation online from anything from $5 all the way up to $500, you know, is something that you can do um, to help focus on our mission to perpetuate, promote, and preserve the Okinawan culture here in Hawaii. So with um, deepest gratitude, we do humbly ask for your support. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been a great, yeah. this is like kind of our first half, right, of our, mm -hmm. our, of our Saturday program. Sorry, I know I talk a lot, but this concludes <laughs> the first half of our um, program. And we're going to be um, switching out our hosts, and we're going to have Colin Hu and Shelby Oshiro up next for the remainder of our Saturday show. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, thank you for having us. You know, watching that last few videos kind of had me emotional. Just mm. thinking about how welcome and at home I've been made to feel just in the last three months. And besides the people that I've had the chance to meet, just thinking about kind of the decades of volunteers and love and work that's gone into building this community is so, so special. Um, so yeah, and before we pass it on to Colin and Shelby, uh, we'll actually be playing a short video that showcases our HOA members answering the question, what does it mean to be Uchinanchu to you? So yeah, enjoy. Uchinanshu means being proud of being from the islands of Okinawa. Okinawa is just a place, but it's the people of being Uchinanshu is yeah. the, the feeling and it's like the aloha spirit. Uchinanshu, Chimugukuru, number one. The feeling of togetherness, family, friends, good fun people and so generous and kind. All the values of accepting people as they are. People like to love and laugh. They make sure that we're there for each other. Having fun, fellowship. They enjoy each other's company. We're working hard, they also play hard, and they drink hard. And that's why they live a long time, because they love to party. Being Uchinanchu. Enjoying some awamori. Fill a cup of, a drinking cup. Full of street liquor, hot liquor, and they expect you to drink that. Because we know who we are and uh, where we came from and our parents and our grandparents like that, it adds some depth to our understanding of ourselves. Remembering what our ancestors gave us, our Ise and our Nisei sacrifice for us. Things that we learned from our parents, our ancestors. Because of them and who they are and what they have accomplished is where I am today and who I can be today. The Uchinanchu spirit lives strong and it's a passing of from generation to generation. <laughs> about my culture, learning about karate, learning about uh, sanshin, learning about odori dance. Learning the culture and preserving and perpetuating the Okinawan spirit. Being Uchinanchu means to share what I have. It's spreading, continuing, preserving who we are, our heart, our soul. Being involved in the culture, doing everything that I can to help perpetuate it. Honor that tradition and, and heritage and share that with our children because we had that commitment to each other, to where we've been, where we come from, and where we want to go. We hope to keep our legacy because I'm only now discovering what it is to be Uchinanchu.
but it really is about family. A big family. 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 It's a family. Family with very hairy legs. People care about each other. People look after one another. Helping out others whenever we can. Play hard, work hard, and give as much as you can selflessly to everyone. To be an Uchinanchu is to be a world citizen. It's easy. Being an Uchinanchu is it's my whole life. Hi, Sai, everybody. Welcome to the second half of our Saturday show. Uh, my name is Colin Hu, and I'll be emceeing alongside my partner, Shelby Oshiro. There she is. <laughs> Hi, Sai, hey, Colin. Shelby. Hey, Colin. How's it going today? Pretty good. Pretty good. A little, little hectic on, on this side. How, how is it in Mililani? Um, it's really good. I don't know if you were able to see outside yet, but... This um, weather, it is calling for Okinawan soba or pig's pea soup or something. And Ooh. I can't wait to get that tonight. <laughs> I totally agree. It was just, we, we just walked over to um, Beer Lab and it, it started pouring rain on us. And then we got back and it was sunshine again. Um, but I had a bowl of pig's feet soup waiting for me. So. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that I know, later you, then. <laughs> yeah, you got to get that later. <laughs> well, hi, Sai Gusu, yo, Chuganabida. Once again, folks, uh, my name is Colin Hu, and I'll be co-emceeing the second half of today's show. Aloha, my name is Shelby Oshiro. I am a Gose Uchinanchu, and I am so excited and thankful for HOA to have us host the last part of tonight's um, portion of the Okinawan Festival, Yutasarugutu Unige Sabira. And Shelby, I have to say, that performance by Karin Miyagi um, was so cool. It was very cool to see our indigenous Uchinaguchi language being used in modern music. No, I absolutely agree. That they had an amazing two videos that I was definitely hooked on, for sure. Very, very catchy. Also, if, if you folks out there love their music and want to learn more, you can check out the Nana Iro no Oto YouTube channel for many more covers sung in Uchinaguchi. You can find the link in their channel, uh, to their channel, in the description below. You know, Colin, it was also really great to um, hear some of our HOA club members, you know, say why they joined their club and what club they were from. So what about you, Colin? What clubs are you part of? <laughs> uh, so I'm most active with the Young Okinawans of Hawaii. Um, and for those who don't know, it is an Okinawan uh, cultural performing, uh, performing group. We uh, perform mostly at bone dances in Hawaii, and uh, we try to perpetuate um, our our own style of Okinawan Asa. And Shelby, how about you? Well, my family, uh, my dad's side, they're from Tamagusku, and my mom's side is from Yonashiro. So growing up, I was part of those two clubs. But um, yes, recently, I also joined the Young Okinawans of Hawaii, <laughs> and I got to meet yeah, some did. of the greatest <laughs> people ever. And I'm really glad to be part of you guys' group. Um, it has been really fun, you know, doing the Bon Odori, but also the, the give back that, you know, the club does. Like, one thing that I missed is the senior luncheon that the Young Okinawans of Hawaii Ooh. provide and put on every year for the seniors. I like you know, I always look forward to that. So hopefully one year we can get back to that. That's such a good point, Shelby. Um, everyone thinks of us as a bond dance club, but it really we, we serve the community. And I think one of our um, hi the highlights of our year in a typical year um, would have been the senior luncheon. And we really miss doing that. So hopefully 2022, let's do it. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, so speaking of which, Shelby, I think you um, you joined us for the Paia Bon Dance, right? Back in 2019. Yes, I did. Yeah. That was truly special, one of a kind. Yeah, so that was our um, Paia Rinzai Zen Mission uh, Bon Dance that we performed at on the island of Maui. And then shortly after that, later in the summer, um, we actually made our way up to um, the north side of Hawaii Island to Kohala. And we participated in the Havi Jodo Mission Bon Dance. Um, and the... I'll tell you, the Okinawans in Kohala are such a, such a beautiful community out there, such a strong and proud community. And I'm pleased to announce that we're going to have um, a few of those folks joining us live from Kohala in just a oh, second. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> so. Oh, nice. Let's Hi. bring them on. All right. 
Hi, Sai, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> so, um, how about you tell us a little bit about you guys selves and, you know, what club do you guys belong to? What do you guys do? Hi, my name is Ted Matsura. I'm the current president of the Kola Okinawa Kenjin Kai. We've been a club uh, for about 66 years now. Nice. Hello, uh, I'm Kel Matsura, vice president of the club. Uh, Ted is my, one of my older brothers and, you know, we've been experiencing the club for all our life and we try to perpetuate that with our children and share it with others. Hi, I'm Kathy Matsuda. I'm Ted's wife <laughs> and I'm also the executive council with HUOA. Hi, I'm Shirley Nakamura. I'm Steve's, Steve Nakamura's wife who is the secretary this year. Great. Thank you so much. This is such a cool experience to have you guys uh, tuning in, joining live for our virtual Okinawan Festival. Thanks again for joining us. So please tell us, how are you celebrating the Okinawan Festival this weekend? Okinawan Festival. Every day is a festival in Koala. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. Not, not to make you guys mount water, but I'm going to have my pig feet soup right now. Ooh. Everyone's having pigs with soup but me right now. Yeah, I know, Shelby. You got to get on that. Maybe you got to fly over to Kohala and join them. It's yeah, I want the Kohala recipe. Cherry's making delicious on the ghee. Nice and fresh. Oh, wow. 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 She's making it right now in front of us? Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> oh, I didn't, know we, I didn't know we would get a live cooking demonstration, too. Oh, we <laughs> Eating all day, enjoying Okinawa <laughs> and showing pork. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna have to come visit Kohala and visit yeah. you guys more. <laughs> you come visit because oh, yeah. Kohala, we're no more, we're no more restaurants, so we're gonna cook our own. So everything is homemade, <laughs> right here by all of our members. Even better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I have to say we we experience that that hospitality firsthand <laughs> every time we go up to the the Kohala Bon Dance. Oh, yeah. So thank you, thank you, folks. Awesome. I have Thank one you. last question for you guys. What is your guys' favorite Okinawan food? Mm. I'm sorry, what was that? What is your guys' favorite Okinawan food? I like this. <laughs> and the ghee. And the ghee. Big feet soup. <laughs> <laughs> Big feet soup with you know, an and the ghee chaser. <laughs> 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 okay. Hot <laughs> and the ghee. That's the only way to eat it. Ooh. Yep. Sounds good. We got to get ourselves to Kohala pretty soon and help, oh, yeah. help you. You're welcome to come. <laughs> yes, I want that pig's feet soup that you guys have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hits the spot. All right. <laughs> well, thank you once again. Um, any last words for the virtual Okinawan Festival audience? Thank you for all you folks do. You guys work really hard. And we're really enjoying the program. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, awesome. guys. And thank you for keeping the, the spirit strong up in Kohala. Oh, yeah. Country style. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Aloha. Okay. Take, Have a good take night. Take care. <laughs> Colin, oh, we're on so the wrong good. island. I know. That's all right. We'll, we'll have our own feast here later tonight, I think. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. We have to get on their level. Oh, yeah. Now, folks, if you'd like to support our virtual Okinawan Festival and, of course, um, the Hawaii United Okinawa Association, please visit www.okinawanfestival.com and look for that donate button. We would really appreciate your support. And if you can hit that big red subscribe button um, and also, you know, for viewers, we'd love to see your comments. And, you know, I see some comments already. So thank you to the people who know the Kohala family. Yes, they seem like amazing people and I can't wait to meet them. And yeah, Very let popular. us know where you're um, from and if you're enjoying the program. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. At this time, um, I'd like to introduce our next segment. Uh, we've, got in, we've got our next segment features uh, the Paranku Club of Hawaii, Hawaii Taiko Kai, and the Kilauea Okinawa Dance Group, dancing Kariyushi Iming. Also, we are going to find out from our club members, what is their favorite Okinawan song? <laughs>
favorite Okinawan song. I think it's Asumi Jibichi. It tells about our forefathers, you know, sacrificing themselves, toiling, making, you know, pennies, saving for their children, ultimately, you know, for their education and, you know, well-being in the future. So this is, tells us about our Issei's you know, that came to Hawaii and they uh, sacrifice a lot for their future generation. is the way that we say hello in which is the way that we say hello in which Oh, <laughs> 
like one. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. What about another round of applause for Paranku Club of Hawaii? Makoto ni arigatou gozaimasu. Especially to the super seniors, 95. Good Lord, I hope I could move and drum like that at 95. Oba, uchi na soba tabeyou ne. Hariyushi Imin is a song written to celebrate the 100 year anniversary of the Okinawa immigration to Hawaii. So, once again, the Kilauea Okinawa Dance Club. <laughs> さあ、に
And mahalo to all of our sponsors for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. The Hawaii United Okinawa Association's Virtual Okinawan Festival is made possible thanks to donations from viewers like you. Mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. Wow, how about that, Shelby? Beautiful taiko drumming and what a graceful dance performance. Thank you to the really Club. Thank you to Paranku Club of Hawaii, Kilauea Okinawa Dance Group, and Hawaii Taiko Kai. Um, also, you know, listening to their members, you know, say their favorite song. And I saw some people say that their favorite song was like Tinsaku no Hana. And in the comments, I saw Shima Uta the Boom. I think I saw mm -hmm. someone say they like them all. They have no idea like which one to pick because they love all Okinawa music. But Colin, well, what's your favorite song? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, to, Lin to Linda's point, I think I like them all, and it's hard to just choose one. But if I had to choose one special one, it would be Teen Sagu Nuhana. I think I, th I think Teen Sagu has the best melody, um, but also um, such significant lyrics, a lot of meaning. How about you, I, Shelby? I totally agree with you. I really love Teen Sagu Nuhana. I think that is special to many of us, um, Uchi Nanchu, especially because like you know the meaning of the lyrics really show the pride that we have for our elders and our teachings. But I think I also like um, Warabi Gami. I think it's such Ooh, a beautiful yes. tune, a melody, the lyrics, kind of similar to, you know, make me think how special um, kids are and the, the new generation as well as our older one. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> all right. We would like to take this time to, again, thank all of our wonderful sponsors of the Virtual Okinawan Festival 2021. Our sponsors make it possible to also continue sharing our Uchi Nanchu Aloha here in Hawaii and around the world. 
Yes, and to all our viewers, we have been loving your comments. Um, yeah, keep it coming. Let us know where you're from and if you're enjoying the program. I think we saw someone from Brazil earlier and someone from California. I think I we want to Peru see all 50 and states. I saw mm -hmm. some Peru and Argentina in there too. So please keep keep on commenting, commenting, and uh, tell us what your tell us what your favorite song is too, if you haven't done that yet. Oh yeah, you know, totally. for many for many Uchinanchu living outside of Okinawa, you've probably heard of the worldwide Uchinanchu festival, also referred to as the Taikai. It's a festival that happens every five years in Okinawa, where Uchinanchu living outside of Okinawa in Hawaii, the mainland U.S., South America, and more, are invited to return to Okinawa and reconnect with the homeland. You know, it's a grand event that many of us look forward to. And especially, you know, we recommend them to people who also never been to Taikai before or even to Okinawa. And it's a wonderful way to re reconnect with your roots. You know, this year, the 7th Road Uchinanchu Festival was supposed to be held. But um, unfortunately, it is going to be postponed due, the, due to the pandemic. Um, the date has been set. It has been set for next year, October 30th, 2022. October 30th, 2022. Our next segment will feature a short video on what you can expect. We will also find out from our members well, what they look forward to when they go to Taikai. That's right. We're also excited to introduce our second special performer for the day, Manoa DNA. Manoa DNA is a family affair comprised of dad Lloyd Kawakami and his two sons, Nick and Alex. Residing in Manoa and taking the first initials of their names, Manoa DNA was formed in 2005. They create and specialize in contemporary Hawaiian music with catchy rhythms and lots of energy. They will be performing a medley with Kili Irai Show's Konohona Pilikai and Nara So So. And last but not least, the Ryukyu So Kyoku Koyokai Hawaii Shibu will perform with also a short message from Sensei Derek Fujio. ふるさと沖縄で5年に一度行われている世界のうちなんち大会はコロナの影響で延期になりました。とても残念です。私たちうちなんちにはこれまで幾つも困難を支え合って乗り越えてきた歴史があります。世界のうちなんちのみんなに
In 2011, I attended an amazing hometown reception in Naha, the furusato of my maternal grandparents. In 2016, my paternal grandparents' hometown, Nago City, provided a bus tour and hosted a party for overseas descendants of Nago City immigrants. So much fun meeting old friends and making new friends, greeting them with aloha, haisai, or hola. Haisai gusio. You know, whenever I think about the Sekai Uchinatsu Taikai, or Worldwide Festival for Okinawan, I think about the term or the proverbs in Okinawa that said, Ichariba Chode, which means we are all brothers and sisters under the skin. And it's, it's a demonstration of what it means, where people come from different countries, we speak different languages, but yet we share common values, a common heritage, and we celebrate what is special about that. So I hope you will join us in 2022 to celebrate Ichiriwa Chode. We are all Okinawans in spirit. Mahalo. Several things I'm looking forward to at the next Haikai. Meeting up with old friends and making new ones, marching in the Taikai parade, attending the opening and closing ceremonies, and last but not least, shopping for more Kari Yushi shirts. What I most look forward to about the 2022 uh, Uchinanchu Taikai is just being in Okinawa, eating Okinawan soba, visiting family, and buying Kari Yushi wear. What do I look forward to most for next year's Taikai? It's eating a lot of great food, getting back to my heritage, seeing a lot of people shorter and hairier than me, but most of all, drinking Orian! Kari! I'm really looking forward to the Orion Beer Factory. I'm looking forward to seeing the Asa Festival and being able to see Begin at hopefully the opening or closing ceremonies and seeing all the Uchinanchu from around the world coming to celebrate all in the same place. For Taikai, I feel like I look forward to meeting like new people. And I think my favorite place in Okinawa would be the Shiri Castle because it's so like big and like pretty. What we look forward to Taikai is the parade. And meeting up with family and friends. All right. Hey, aloha everybody, I'm Alex. Thanks so much for having me. I'm going to do a medley of two songs that uh, I w was able to record with uh, our group called Manoa DNA. Uh, the first song is a beautiful Hawaiian tune by a man named Kelly E. Reichel. And the second one is by a group called Begin. Uh, that group actually originated in Okinawa. And so these two songs fit beautifully together. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Ke Allah e 
の愛えほらレモネアロハエアロハノアロハカリアリアマウエナニエエナニノエナニカノホナピリカイ Welcome to the second annual virtual Okinawan festival. My name is Derek Fujio and I'm the chapter president of the Ryukyu Soko Koyokai Hawaii Shibu. We're comprised of independent Kutu schools here in Honolulu, Hawaii, who come together to study, practice, perform, and perpetuate the art of Kutu or Okinawan Koto. Because of COVID 19, we still can't come together in a large group to perform for you, but we would like to share a previously recorded performance. Featuring Watarizo Tachiutushi. This large instrumental work showcases the grandeur of the large ensemble of Koto's performing together. Please enjoy. Thank、you 
Innovation has been part of our culture since our founding in 1975. We're a local technology company that values people and relationships, and we work collaboratively for a better tomorrow. We're Data House, and we're happy to support this year's virtual Okinawan Festival. Ippe nihe de biru, and mahalo to all of our sponsors for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. Wow, so many ba good back to back performances, huh, Shelby? Totally. <laughs> That was an awesome performance of Kanohona Pilikai and Nada So So by Manoa DNA, one of my favorites. Also, thank you to Derek Fujio Sensei and Ryukyu So Kyoku Koyo Kai Hawaii Shibu for the beautiful Kutu music. If you enjoyed Manoa DNA, please check out their website at manoadna.com or look for the link in our description below. You know, Colin, um, Nada So So is actually one of my favorite songs too. And, you know, I was just thinking about the lyrics and the meaning and I think about the time that we're in right now. I thought what a wonderful song that, you know, we chose to, um, Manolo DNA chose to showcase because I think that people, many families are, you know, experiencing rough times that I had some hard losses. And I think that, you know, Naro Soso and Kanohono Pilikai really touches the heart with the ones that we loved and the ones that we cherish and the ones that, you know, we had to say goodbye to, but we missed. So, yeah, so I really appreciate that song being aired. Um, with that being That's said, <laughs> um, we also hope that you enjoyed the 7th Road Ride Uchinanchu Festival, um, the video. If you'd like to find out more, we have partnered with Trans Pacific Tours and they are accepting registration now. We'll cross our fingers that next year things get back to normal. <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> and Shelby, have, have you had a chance to attend? No, I've never got to go to Taikai. I really want to go. Have you? Same here. I've never been. I hear so much about it. <laughs> People expect that I've gone. I've never been. And hopefully next year will be the year, huh? Yes. Yeah, so would you want to go next year? Oh, yeah. If it's safe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Me too. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if you haven't yet, please support the Hawaii United Okinawa Association and this virtual festival by visiting www.okinawanfestival.com and look for that uh, donate button. Yes, you know, your generous contributions, it really helps support and perpetuate the HOA's mission to um, support Okinawan culture and activities such as the Yuntaku Live bi-weekly show or the Konkuru Test, you know, which supports our community gainal groups to take their tests. And it also puts on workshops and so much more. That's right. Now, Shelby, the highlight of my week so far has been definitely been the uh, Okinawan Festival which I know we've talked about several times on this show already today. Um, you can't have enough Okinawan festival without, you can't have an Okinawan festival without the Okinawan food, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, although, the, although we don't have an in-person Okinawan festival with food booths um, this year, we are partnering with Shari Tamashiro for the second year of Okinawan festival. Okinawan festival is a way to get your Okinawan food fix while supporting Okinawan owned restaurants and food businesses. You can learn more about Okinawan Festival and which businesses are participating, and there are many, by going to the Okinawan Festival website and look for that Festival tab. Colin, I'm going to be starving by the end of this segment because we keep talking Seriously. about food. <laughs> I'm so ready to grind already. I know. All right. So if you go to the Okinawan Festival um, website, just like Colin said, there is a um, Festival tab. And basically what you can see is the specials that run... Um, there we go. Thank you. There it is. The specials at RAM from September 1 to the 14th. So when you go there, check out what's good. Um, I already saw some stuff offered from Beer Lab. There it is. Yeah. And Ike's Halava. And some of these specials, they start on certain days. So just double check your dates to make sure that you don't miss out on the good specials. So many good specials. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, yeah, look at those. We have square barrels, hang hot dogs. Oh, this sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I already had my, my uh, sweet potato turnovers from Kilani Bakery. I had my, I had my Goya champuru with shoyu pork uh, on Friday. 
Oh, I love. I'm so from I'm South Carolina. Yes. Oh, yeah. they're so good. That was so um, I also had my um, turnover this morning too. It was so delicious. <laughs> All right, we're making our way down that list. Just checking off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You can also see um, where you can get Okinawan food all year long. Um, we have nine restaurants that actually offer Okinawan dishes on their regular menu. So I think that, yeah. Mm -hmm, sunrise. I love Sunrise. I haven't been there in a while. That's right. It's one thing to support them um, this weekend, this week, but please support them all year long. You know, there's something I notice: a lot of these Okinawan-owned businesses, um, you know, the owners have really taken the time to reconnect with their heritage, the culture, um, and you know, have actually all, all that has manifested into these exclusive menu offerings. Um, some for a limited time, some um, throughout the year. So please, please um, patronize these Okinawan-owned businesses and restaurants um, and check out what all the creativity um, that they're displaying. Yes, yeah, so there's actually a list that we have also that even tells you um, the Okinawan-owned restaurants and um, businesses. And there's a listing of at least 64 Okinawan-owned restaurants and food businesses on the feasible site. Um, just like Colin said, you know, throughout the year, enjoy and um, go to the restaurant, enjoy their food. It is truly one of a kind to have delicious Okinawan food here in Hawaii. Um, especially because I can't cook like um, the Matsuda <laughs> family back in Kohala that can make their own. So I'm definitely going to be, you know, visiting these restaurants throughout my life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make pig's feet soup, so I have to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, and if you, did we say this already? Did, if you need your andagi fix, um, there is there is a bunch of people making andagi this week. Um, on the for people looking for andagi, the Okinawan Foods page on the festival site has a breakdown of where they can get their andagi fix. Correct. Um, some places are um, taking pre-orders for pickup on Sunday, um, the fifth, but some may already be sold out. So make sure to call ahead. Um, Two that we know of is Sunrise and Teria's Andagi. They're opening up their special for the festival. Also open is Masa and Joyce, Hibachi Honolulu. Also open is Ike's Halava. Um, they also do pre-order, but they're going to be saving a small amount for the walk-in. So just go ahead and see if they have any. <laughs> wow. All right, I am hungry. So let's, let's keep this show moving. Um, <laughs> well, we're almost near our last segment. Um, at this time, I think I'd like to introduce the the next uh set of performers we've got the hoa ichigo ichie class performing ashibina the, and then we've got yukyu koten afuso ryu ongaku kenkyu choichi kai hawaii led by shibucho grant masandu murata sensei we will also bring back our special guest performer from okinawa nana ironote with vocalist karen miyagi paired with its leader homare they'll be performing a cover song that we all know and enjoy in the Uchinaguchi language. Hey, 
Please kokua and help us reach new viewers by subscribing to our HUOA YouTube page. Look for the red subscribe button on the bottom right. It's free. Your subscription supports our mission to share Uchinanchu Aloha around the world. Also, don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up. Mahalo and yuta surugutu urige sabina. I say gusio. Mahalo to all our sponsors for your generous contribution to the HUA. In the spirit of Chimugu Kurutichi, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Your support allows the Hawaii United Okinawa Association to preserve, promote, and perpetuate the Okinawan culture here in Hawaii. Mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. Hai sai gusu yo, ippe nihe debiru. Aloha, mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. I want to thank everyone for supporting the HUA through these years and especially during this rough time that we're going through now. Please everyone, thank you again and please stay safe. Mahalo, mahalo, nihe debidu. Hai! Ite nihe debidu. Hi, Sai everyone. We really appreciate all of the support we've received over the years from Hawaii and Okinawa. Ite nihe debidu. Stay safe and see you soon. Aloha. Thank you so much for supporting the HUOA and our Hawaii Okinawa Plaza. I would like to thank you for your support of the Hawaii United Okinawa Association, Ukaji Debiru. Because of you, we are able to perpetuate and share the Okinawan culture. Gusuyo nugun, kukuru kara, ippe nife debitan. Hi, Sai, and aloha to all of our supporters over the years here in Hawaii 
in Okinawa and around the world. Ippe Nife Debiru. To the past, present, and future, Okage Sama Day. I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Executive Council, also to thank the donors and supporters and volunteers of the HOA. Ippe Nife Debiru and Mahalo. Hi, Sai Gusuyo, everyone. It's 2021, but I still have to thank all of you out there, all our volunteers, all our donors for helping us through these very difficult times. And I hope that you'll continue to support us in the future. Again, mahalo and ipe nihe deviru. Hi, Sai. And welcome to the Hawaii United Okinawa Association's Virtual Okinawan Festival. Thank you very much for all your support throughout the years. And what do we love to eat at the Okinawan Festival? Andagi! Hi everyone, thank you so much for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you for supporting HUOA and our Uchina Yaninju family. Ukurashaya, proud to be Uchinanchu. Shibari yo! Ipe nife deburu, mahalo. Thank you everyone. Thank you for supporting HUOA. Ipe nihe deburu. Mahalo. Aloha and mahalo everyone from Hawaii. Thank you for all your support. Hi sai. Aloha. Shibari yo! Aloha everyone. Mahalo for supporting the Okinawan festivals past, present, and future. To all Uchinanchus, be proud. And mahalo to all of our sponsors for supporting the Hawaii United Okinawa Association. good merchandise huh be sure to check out shophoa.com if you haven't yet thank you again to the ichigo ichie class and the ryukyu koten afusoryu ongaku kenkyu choichikai hawaii for those wonderful performances mm -hmm. also big mahalo to karimiyagi and nana ironote for their wonderful performance of a whole new world all in uchinaguchi colin i don't know about you but i was just feeling it i was like oh, i want to be jasmine <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i got emotional a little bit <laughs> i know that was wonderful to hear in the uchinaguchi language thank you so much to taking the time to support hoa and i really hope to see you guys next year oh yeah well shelby i can't believe it but this concludes day one of the 2021 virtual okinawan festival big thank you to all of our viewers out there from all corners of the world we really appreciate all the support and positive feedback we're, we're receiving from literally all around the world. Thank you very much for your many comments and please keep them coming. Yes, we love the comments and hearing where you guys were all watching from. Um, also big mahalo to our sponsors, Central Pacific Bank Foundation, Zippies, Rainbow Drive-In, Sun Noodle, Island Insurance, Data House, Time Supermarket, Noguchi and & Associates, and JTB Hawaii. Also, don't forget the virtual Okinawan Festival fun continues tonight and all day tomorrow. Tonight at 6.30 p.m. on KHON, we've got Pamela Young's Uchinanchu special mixed plate Chibariyo. And then at 7 o'clock, also on KHON, we've got a one-hour-long Okinawan Festival special sharing Uchinanchu Aloha, featuring some new and exclusive content. Yes, the night is still young. Um, also tonight at 8 p.m., we have the virtual Okinawa Festival Bondance, which will be live streaming back here on YouTube. 
And then tomorrow at two, we will have part two of the virtual Okinawa festival. So after this call in, we can eat dinner. Everyone um, here at home can eat dinner and then join us back for this festival. Oh yeah, I'm ready to grind. <laughs> <laughs> And folks, you know, this and, uh, and all of HOA's other programming would not be possible if it wasn't for our wonderful donors. If you haven't yet, please visit www.okinawanfestival.com and look for that donate button. Yes, you know, your guys' generous contributions support HOA to help perpetuate the Okinawan culture and the activities. Again, like the Yuntaku Live Bi-Weekly Show and Konkuru, which is to help the Gaino groups, you know, um, take their test and then also provide and put on workshops and so much more that the HOA does. That's right. And with that, Shelby, I think we can say mahalo and ipe nihei debiru to everybody watching. Yes, thank watching. you for tuning in. Have a good night. Ipe nihei debiru. Thank you. Stay safe, everybody. I'm